Hello everybody, welcome again and the video today is to talk about how to make box plots in Jump. So I, I know at least four different places when you can perform a box plot and I will show you uh, all of them to you in this video. So the first place that you can perform a box plot is inside of the graph graph builder. So the moment that you came that you come here, box plot, it, it, it will be appeared here. We have this option. We have different uh, uh, graphs that we can make here, but the box plot is one of them and it is here. So how can I do this? I just select my Y and drag here and click in the box plot. The moment that I did this, I have a big box plot about all the data that I have in my data table. I can change, I can customize this, for example, box type, quantile or outlier box plot. I can change for solid, I can change for a thin, I can, I can make some, some uh, different uh, customization here. Uh, another thing that I can add here in my box plot is the five number summary. So the max, the Q3, the median, the Q1 and the minimum point of this box plot, I can just put here and have this inside of my graph as a legend. Okay, so let's, let's use a normal one. And what more can I do here? I can, I can have, for example, a box plot for each machine. So I just drag machine into here. And now I have a box plot for machine one and a box plot for machine two. So be careful uh, because machine is a source of variation. It is not a continual value. So everything here should be changed for a nominal value. And now you don't have 1.0 and 2.0. It is not a continuous value, it's a nominal value, okay? So if you, if you want to know how to organize your data table, uh, I have another video in the channel uh, talking about how to organize your data table. It is very important for you that is trying to uh, solve a problem, investigating uh, data and having some statistical analysis about your processes. Okay, guys. So this is the first place that we can have the box plot, okay? So the second place that we can see a box plot is inside of the distribution platform. So analyze distribution. The moment that I select my Y here and I click on OK, I have a histogram and together with the histogram, we have the box plot. Every single uh, detail that we, we want to know about the box plot is here. This quantile section here, when we have the minimum, the, the quartiles, the median, the maximum values, and we have the box plot shown here. So, uh, we can change this outlier or we can add the quantile box plot as well. So we have uh, a different version of the box plot. So it is here. This is the second place that we can see the box plot. I can take off the histogram here, for example, and work only with the box plot. So if you want to copy only the box plot, you can copy this. So we have some statistical details here about the box plot. Very good. The third 
different uh, part here, the third different location that we can see a box plot is inside of the analyze fit y by x. So let's suppose that I'm, I'm analyzing my y, my response variable for each machine. So I'm gonna perform a fit y by x, y by machine. And I have here a one-way analysis of uh, y by machine. So I have the data points uh, coming from the machine one and the data points coming from machine two. Here in this red button, I have quantiles. The first, the first thing that I can perform here is the quantile. So when I click here, I have the box plot for each group of points. So minimum 10%, 25%, the median, the 75%, 90% and the maximum values, they are all here. So this is another place that you can perform your box plot. The fourth uh, place that I know that I can have box plot is inside of our variability chart. As you saw in the last uh, video that I that I updated here, uh, variability is very nice and we can perform a lot of different graphs and having some very good information about our processes. So performing a variability about our response variable for each machine. We have the, the group of points from machine one, the group of points from machine two. We have the standard deviation chart for each bar here. I don't want this standard deviation chart. I will take off here. And I wanna add the box plot. So in this red button, show box plots. Now I have box plots inside of my variability chart. I can, I can even take off the points. So I don't want to show the points. I only want to show the box plots and I will uh, let the, the max and the minimum and the mean values here from that bar that we had the, the points. And now I can even have uh, a, com uh, a comparison between the median, the 50% the of my data points and the mean. So it's an idea of how normally distributed is your data. So these are the four different places that we can have the box plot. I hope I, hope, uh, I could uh, help you. If you, if you use, if you perform box plot in another place, another platform inside of Jump Software, please let in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video. Bye bye.